Hey guys, what's up? Back again with me in Jack Sound, son of Jesse's Ya English Club, for swinging your day with Wonders Topics that brought to you by podcast. So yeah, still with me Jay from Batch 2020 as the host here. For today's episode, we will talk about something that is really interesting and been with us for a long time. Right. It's been a several months since we started online as a college students because the pandemic of COVID-19. That's right, if the closure of school therefore doesn't mean the learning also stop. But we know, not everyone goes through online class easily. Some people think that online class is fine, but on the other side, some people think that online class is make them feel confused. Today, I have two speakers in here. There are Hotma Rifai and Ka Andrea Larasati. Hello Rifai and Ka Andrea, how are you today? Hello Jay, I'm good. Thanks for inviting me. Hello Jay, I'm actually very great today. Thank you for having me. Hey, you're welcome guys. So, before we start it, there's an Indonesia proverb that says, Tak kenal maka tak sayang nih. So, can you guys introduce yourself first? Hi all, I'm Andrea from Bad 2019 Class C. It's an honor for me to be able to accompany Jay and all of you guys in another Jack Sound. Hope that we will have place today. Hello everyone, I'm Rifai from Class B, but that's not going to So for today's episode, we have Rifai Ka Andrea from different batch. And like I said before, it's been a several months already we do an online class by using many platforms like Google Meet, Google Classroom, Zoom, and many more. Do you guys think it's still fun and easy if we do it from home? Um... In my opinion, it's a little bit fun and easy, but in this situation, it's not easy to understand the subject and I couldn't see all of my lecture in online. But it's more flexible to do something when we online learn. On the other side, I cannot go and chill out with my friends in music. That's all. Hmm. Well, I think for me, Jay, um... For someone who already felt an offline class in onset, yeah, in early stage of online class, it's fun and it's easy for us to doing tasks, uh, something like that. But as time goes on, I think it's can uh, it kind of wear me out. Like it's getting harder, it's getting boring. So for right now, yeah, it's not that fun and easy anymore. Hmm, I understand. Okay, now, I want to ask you guys, what do you think about the ups and downs from doing an online class? Well, the up of doing online class is when, I think you guys know, when we have a task, we can actually search for it and making sure our answer is right. But the down. Uh, the downs uh, from doing an online class is you cannot actually grasp what you actually want to learn in that subject because it's different when uh, the our professor or, or our lecturers teaching us offline and online class. Uh, you all uh, it's like you only understand some part of it and doing the assignments and tests and done. So that's why I think the uh, offline class is better than the online class itself because the online class is just, you know, doing what you are told. You didn't have to try to understand it. So I think the, uh, that's the down for the doing an online class itself. Hmm, that's right. Okay, thank you, Kandrea. Next, how about you, Rifa? Um, the good thing from doing an online class is I can save my money. I only have to spend my money for book and you know internet quota. And then but I can fill the files as well as the internet. And then not all the subjects are going effectively talk all in learning. And the last is I cannot use the facility in internet. Mm, okay guys, I got all the points. Hmm, that's right. I think besides a pleasure there will be a sadness too, yeah? But of course, as a college student, we still have to study well and give our best for it. Hmm, I want to ask Andrea and Rifa now. 
Do you have any tips to survive online class and stay on top of it? Hmm. I think the only way you to survive online class and stay on top of it is to be active in class because we all know that our professors have so many students uh, that uh, they have to teach on. And it's kind of impossible for them to actually remember our names and our face. So for us to get, uh, to get in the good side and get a good grade for them, I think it's best for us to stay on cam when they when they have class and answering their questions or even ask them some questions because that way they can remember us as like oh uh it's andrea uh, she's active in class uh, i'm gonna give her a good girl for actually participating in our uh, in my class so i think it's important for you to be always active and stay on camera in online class Okay, so it's important right to open our camera during the online class. How about you, Rifa? Do you have any tips to survive online class for us? Okay, um, I have been waiting for this question anyway. Uh, I have some tips for doing an online class. So, first, don't study on the bed because it will make you feel sleepy and easy to get bored. And then second, you have to stay away from anything that make you not focus on your class, like your little bro. And then for the last, don't forget to make yourself feel comfortable so you can focus on it. Okay, remember guys, don't study in bed because you will get bored and, and easy to feel sleepy, okay? Thank you Kandra and Rifa for sharing with us about the tips. I hope the tips from you are useful for all Jack Sound listener. And don't forget to do me time guys. It's important but it's really meaningful ya yeah? apalagi buat sekarang nih. By the way, what do you guys usually do when you take me time? Okay, for me I love to play online games, Mobile Legends, Legends, and then Call of Duty and many others. And I like to listen music too and play with my pets that's all okay how about you nick andrea oh about me oh my god my me time just thinking it is making me happy happy so i surely like to cut off myself from the world's like no instagram no social media no chatting with my friends no video call with my friends uh and something like that and just having uh, my time for myself and listening to my baby BTS while, uh, while reading what that or writing what that I think it's best way for uh, for me in having my me time okay thank you Rifa and Kandria. don't forget yeah to do what you love and what you enjoy because as a college student don't let ourselves to be the college student yang kurang pikni Nick, yeah, it's important to do me time. Hmm, then, we've passed online class for two semester. Uh, gimana nih, Kak Andrea? Do you feel the difference between online class and offline class? Which one do you prefer the most? Oh, uh, I think it's kind of half and half because I really like the system when we doing uh, tasks in online class because it's easier than offline, but if we ask about the method, uh, the environment itself, I really like offline class, of course, because the hangout, the eating and talking with your friends in the canteen or meeting you guys in real life, it's it's different kind of feelings that you won't get in online class. So I think, yeah, no matter what, no matter how, how easy for us, I think I really want to go back to offline class. Oh, okay, Kak Andrea. I think uh, between online class and offline class, ya, yeah, itu ada kelebihannya masing-masing ya. Mm, yeah. Okay, next. Diva, as a college student from batch 2020, have you ever met your friends in class or go to the University of General Sudirman? Um, yes, of course yes, I, I have, have but... I have, but... I only want to answer just for taking some books and let me meet my friends there. 
Oh, uh, did you feel nervous or awkward when you see each other at first in real life? Because before it, you only text him from social media and saw her face from online, right? Uh, yeah, of course I felt awkward, but at the moment, uh, I was happy to meet them. Thank you. Oh, okay, that's it. Thank you, Rifa, for sharing with us. So, everyone, we finally reached the end of today's Jackson episode. I'm really thankful to have you guys here and all the listeners of Jackson. I wish you guys are always happy and healthy. And of course, I hope the pandemic will end as soon as possible. So, everyone who has never experienced an offline class can feel the sensation for it. Okay, thank you guys. See you on the next episode of Dick Sound. Thank you, Kandrea. Thank you, Rifa. Thank you for having me here, Jay. Andrea, peace out. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you.